Hi guys, so again, coming to you from the comfort of my own home because we're all working from home. This week's cultural marketer segment, we're going to teach you how to set up your own WeChat work account with your company profile. So once you've downloaded the WeChat work app, what you'll be asked to do is you can go into the settings and tap to add a company profile and you're, you're going to get something that looks like this. Okay. And you can also see it on the screen right now as a screenshot. So it'll ask you to enter in your company name, your industry type, and your staff size and your name. So enter your real name, so your real full name, so not an Elias. Uh, and then with the industry type, they do give you quite a few selections. So just make sure you choose the one that's the closest to the one that you have listed on your business registration documents. And we'll get to why that is important in a little bit. So the second steps uh, would be, it'll show that your company name that you've selected and then also the fact that it's your name that has created the account. Uh, the company information is entered by the creator, so make sure all of that is verified because when they go through the approval process, they will make sure that everything matches up. So then the next step is for you to uh, verify the registrant information. So there's two ways to do this. So the first way is by submitting documents, which they have highlighted as this is the recommended way for you to do it. The second way, if you already have a WeChat official account, so we've done a video tutorial on how to set up a WeChat official account before, and we also have blog posts that go over extensively how to register for an overseas official account. So if you already have that registered and you are the owner, uh, so you have the account operator title for that account, then it will be much easier for you at this point in the setup process because then you don't need to send in your business registration documents again. But let's say if you are not the account operator, then you'll need to go through and submit your business registration documents, much like the uh, type of document that you would need to submit if you are setting up for a WeChat official account. So that may include, for example, okay, your registration certificate, sometimes they ask for your bylaws, a listing of the directors of the company, uh, phone bills of your office. So those are just some types of documents that they may request for the verification process. But again, if you chose option two, which is where you've already set up this WeChat official account and you have access as the operator, then you can easily just click on the second option and then it will go into ask you for, uh, go to WeChat for authorization. So this is because your personal WeChat account, if you are the WeChat uh, account operator, will already be tied into that official account. So it'll bump you into the WeChat app and then it will ask for you to uh, select which of the official accounts you want to register. So personally, I am tied to our Pendulum account, which is our media platform, and then also our marketing agency account, which is Catalyst Agents. So I selected, say, Pendulum Magazine, and I have the ownership right for that account. So then after that, once I've tapped on that, it just asks whether or not I authorize the WeChat Work app to uh, verify the details of the company this way. And then the next screen will take you into uh, verifying the details of the account. So right now they've asked that I verify the name of the company and also the abbreviated name of the company. Now in the instructions that are on the screen right now, it will it's saying that oh, we need to make sure that the uh, abbreviated version is also included in the long version. What that means is just for example, our company name is Pendulum Magazine Limited, then an abbreviated slash shortened version is just Pendulum Magazine. So then Pendulum Magazine is a shortened form of just Pendulum Magazine Limited. So don't try to take it way too complicated. It's actually quite simple. And then after that, you just need to submit this information for approval. So. Since I went with option two, which is to verify um, based on the WeChat official accounts that are readily available already, 
our approval process was pretty much instantaneous. So if you have a WeChat official account for your company, this will be a breeze. If you don't, but you do want to set up a WeChat work account for the ease of hosting online meetings, having your staff communicate with each other in these company chat rooms, or there's even a CRM component to WeChat work. If you want to streamline all of that for your internal company comp uh, purposes, then you'll need to go through and submit business documents if you don't already have a WeChat official account. So we hope this helps. We hope that all the screenshots help. And if you want to have a version where you can actually read everything to absorb it, we do have a blog post, which is now embedded as a link. So feel free to click at the bottom of this video to take you to that blog post so you can follow along with the instructions. All right, we'll see you at the next segment of The Cultural Marketer.